Welcome to another episode of the Hope Boy Show. I'm Kess, DJ Jax, and we are here today talking Tory Lanes. Yes, hey. sir. Yes, sir. And what's his real name? You just said he was just saying off camera because I never knew that this was his real name. Yeah, this man's name is Daystar. Daystar Peterson or Patterson. I'm not sure, but yeah. first name is definitely Daystar. Daystar. That's that's an amazing name. That's a, like you said. What you say about the name? Like, listen, I would have kept that name. That you knew he was gonna be successful. <laughs> father looked. The father, mother looked at him and said, "Your name is Daystar." That's so, awesome. first lesson of today is to name your kids something super unique to yeah. increase their chances of success. Yes, sir. And we're just joking about that, but <laughs> lower down. Look. So today we're talking uh, Tory Lanez, and one of the biggest lessons that we're going to learn from Tory Lanez's story is supreme absolute faith, or as DJ Jax likes to call it, fearless faith. Fearless faith. So fearless faith. I thought that was an interesting uh, uh, terminology because faith, and the faith we're talking about is not a religious faith. We're talking about faith as in the essence of fully believing in yourself absolutely despite what other people are saying despite what circumstances might be telling you but just really believing in yourself and uh, uh, the idea of having fearless faith is almost like believing in yourself because those feelings of fear usually come up when it comes to believing in yourself exactly exactly oh um, and I'm not even gonna kid you on anything it just hit me a few minutes ago when we was talking about him again and it was like fearless faith so like you said it's like there's there's faith where and i don't want to speak in religion but you can't when you speak of faith people think of religion of course um it's like we're taught in some religions to fear always fear and fear and fear and fear mm -hmm. and if you look at the word if you look at how fear is composed and yeah sometimes you're scared into doing things mm -hmm. you know but with this guy his particular story is that you see that he was he was fearless in what he was doing mm -hmm. and i think that that pushed him because the things that we're going to talk about that he went through mm -hmm. he like yo dude like you're a real real solid you know and i'm not gonna say tough like macho fighting or not but you're a real solid character yeah, you know what i mean yeah. and like with that aspect to just be able to keep on going and the topics on um, that we're going to discuss. Did we say the topics already? Yeah. Perseverance and faith. Uh, well, we said the faith. Yeah, okay, we okay. First. Faith. Yeah. Well, to um, to be able to push yourself like that. Yeah. So that's why I thought about like, no, he has fearless faith. Yeah. And like he has faith, and most people may have faith, but when you're unafraid and you going into what you're doing, like you know this is your mission. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I call that fearless. Yeah. Faith. It amplifies your power level. It definitely gives you way more endurance. Way more perseverance uh level perseverance that's kind of the second aspect of the topic but it's they're really one in the same if you think about it but so with tory lanes let's get to it with tory lanes for the synopsis of his story essentially is he grew up in toronto canada uh his mom passed away at a young age so i think he was maybe like 11 or something like that yep. when his mom passed yep. away and from there his home kind of fell apart he had to end up going they went to go live with his grandmother him his dad and his sisters um then they moved somewhere else from there he started to kind of have trouble with the authority figures in his life because obviously he was hurting from that loss uh they were moving around jumping around when they went back to toronto to live with his grandmother she was adamant that he couldn't live with them yeah that's crazy and that's that's yeah. crazy you know no judgment we don't we weren't there so she was adamant that he couldn't live with them so therefore he ended up starting to move around and, and live with friends or other family members and i think that first situation you're talking about was one where he was living with uh three brothers or three guys yeah, young yeah. guys they were like maybe in their early uh early 20s or 18 or something like that yeah. and they had this rule in the house where if you were to eat something that wasn't yours, you had to physically fight. Yeah. Right? And so he grew up kind of just always duking it out with these older guys and yeah. enduring that type of physical, uh, 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 I guess, challenge of yeah. always having to, to stand up for himself. Um, and that definitely shows in his in just how he conducts himself as far as his pursuit throughout his music career. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. He doesn't... Um there was one interview that I was uh, reading. I should have watched it, but I was <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there was one interview where he was speaking that, like how that mental toughness has that's taught him how to handle the music industry. Mm. You know, it's yeah. I he could say yeah. I, I fought literally every day for years yeah. with three other guys in the house, and I was at a young age, so that taught me how to fend for myself. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know how to fend for themselves. You know. Yeah. 
you go into a business or you go into life trying to pursue your dreams and want to back to that um, fearless faith yeah. is that you, you have faith but you don't know how to fend for yourself because things are going to come at you absolutely you know so how do you fend for yourself yeah you know and i think that those situations really taught him gave him that strength to say you know what i am not backing down yeah and i mean that brings up another interesting point too is that no matter whatever you're going through in your life to always try to have that perspective that this is happening for a reason that there's something in this moment <clears throat> excuse me there's something in this moment that's going to benefit me in the long run towards my overall mission right a lot of times people are in despair or depressed because they can't see the light at the end of the tunnel right yeah. the moment feels like it's a complete story but that's not the truth the moment simply is the moment it, right it, it builds on top of itself it's a story that i always think of my life uh as a story that's being written, right? And right now it's just a chapter or a page that leads to an overall conclusion, right? The end of the book is the end of our lives and all together, it all works together. But you gotta kind of put yourself and switch your mind over so that way like Tory Lanez, you're able to say, you know what? This one day is gonna make me tougher or be able to look back and say, this is what made me able to endure right now. And so from there, yes on that or not? No, no, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, he ended up now getting into music and starting to record music. He was one of the old school cats who used to go around to the malls and stuff like that, selling his mixtapes. Yes. It was just out there hustling, selling mixtapes, asking people to rap for them, asking people to sing for them, uh, and just really working. And, and what I thought about that was that that's something you don't see as much now. You see a lot of hustle, right? You see the online hustle, but people don't understand, right? And this is because we obviously we're, we've been in the music industry. We know a lot of people who are in the music industry, were in the music industry. The level to have to get up, and, especially when it's cold out, go stand in parking lots, get rejected time and time again, asking people if they want to buy or invest in you in your dream, help you out. Um, Listen, it's you tough. Know, it's tough. It's way harder than just posting online and stuff yeah. like that. But not to knock it, what's going on now, because no, no, it's no, the it's, way. Yeah, but it would listen. It was it was tough back then yeah. doing that, yeah. and for him to actually in this day and age to do that, mm -hmm. to we, what we call you know you're you're out there hand in hand. Yeah. You know you 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 you're going out there, and you're touching hands. Exactly. Which let's look at the let's look at the facts here. Mm -hmm. Tory Lanez is on a lot of different tracks with different people. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that this guy was out for a while, mm -hmm. right? Relatively hitting the scenes in what 2016 with his with his first album. And I'm okay. like, and I always question. I'm like, how does he get all these features? Mm -hmm. You know, how how does that happen? But then now that we know that, no, this guy actually goes out and he knocks on doors. Yeah, you know, that's you. That's how you get on. You exactly. gotta go and knock on doors. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. And so that definitely translated, obviously, from that, that that fearlessness to go out and knock on doors physically mm -hmm. uh, before, go out and stand out there and, and try to sell his tapes and, and ask people to hear his music. Now that equates to what he's doing and his ability to build those relationships now. So um, where the story really gets interesting is that at some point in all of that, he encounters uh, somebody he who has influence over him in his life. Uh, I think it was one of the boys in the house, actually, who somehow is able to just, you know, through his influence and persuasion, get in his head and convince him that the music thing he was doing wasn't real, like that he was chasing this thing that was never going to come to fruition. I don't know if any of you could relate to somebody getting in your head and convincing you that no matter what the thing you're chasing is only meant for the certain elite, the one percent, yeah. or a certain race can only have it. Yeah. Whatever garbage that is, because I hear it all the time, where people are so convinced that they are stuck in a certain place of life because they are not allowed to ascend, or it's not for them to ascend, and that's complete crock of crap. Yeah, you know that. So he had that happen to him, and he actually quit doing music. He stopped for like maybe two or three days, where he gave up hope on it. And I know it's like two or three days is nothing, but when that's your life, oh, it's, it's like life. saying like, oh, I'm gonna stop breathing for two or three days, yeah. right? Yeah. For anybody who's really passionate about something, imagine giving up hope on that for two or three days. That's like a lifetime, exactly, right? And so, but he was able to, to get back in touch with that dream and say, you know, no, this is something I was choosing to believe in this, have that absolute fearless faith that this is going to happen and continue to pursue on and, and obviously reach the point that we see him at today. Yeah. Something that you just said, you know, um, with, uh, in the respects of giving up on 
giving up for those those couple days. And you know, we always would like to relate it definitely back to the ourselves and back to everyone in the world that, that you know, you like you said, really stress that fact that you can give up for a few days and it does feel like a lifetime. And that's and I want to make sure that you know that if that's how you feel, mm-hmm. know that that's something that you're passionate about and it should work. Yeah. You know, because like, oh, how can how do I know that if this is a thing that I should give up or should I should I not give it up? Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of confusion there because yeah. if you have somebody that you trust in that's telling you things, you know, you he, this guy's fighting with these guys every day. You know, it's it's like a you know that warrior's bond that they have, yeah, brotherhood. <laughs> you know, yeah. so if that's happening and he's taking that information from him, yeah, like that's how you know that this is something that you should be doing. Mm-hmm. If you have to question that, if you feel passionate about it, and you feel that you can't literally breathe without this thing, yeah, yeah, you need to um, get back on. Exactly, exactly, and that's the pro perseverance point because a lot of times, oftentimes, especially in today's society, sadly, see people who. If it doesn't happen tomorrow, they want to give up or they think they need to move to the next thing. If it doesn't happen in a year, it must not be meant to be. And the truth is, so many, so much of the story and us doing this podcast, what we are learning at an even higher level, because we, we're on our fifth episode, yeah. but for each episode, we probably researched three or four different people. So we already have an idea of who's coming next. And, you know, like some stories just don't have uh, the lessons we're looking for, but we look at all these different lives. One thing that's is so much in common is that people look like they're overnight stars like Lizzo who we did last week oh yeah that's or, or last episode looked like she was an overnight star to me I thought she'd been in the music game legit in the music game for 10 years yeah. right that's perseverance that right is, yeah uh, perseverance. Tory Lanez when he popped on the scene I thought he just popped on the scene in 20 like you said 2016 I think I noticed him or or heard of him uh maybe 2017 or 18 yeah uh, with the love song the yeah. um right yep She'd been in the game for years yes. before that, right? He's so got mixtapes. Yeah, he's got mixtapes. Who does that anymore? So the whole thing is, is that persevere in your craft. Don't think that if <clears throat> don't think that if it doesn't happen in a year, if it doesn't happen in two years, five years, that it's not meant for you. If it's something that you really want, right? Find a way to support yourself, but you keep persevering. Whether it's music, whether it's business, whether it's real estate, uh, whether it's uh, sewing the hand mittens whatever it is like if you (laughs) feel that's for you it's for you right it's for you that means that this is your life this is your mission you don't stop doing it you keep pushing and persevering yeah yeah um there was another part of the um it's crazy because his father was a minister oh that's right you know and like a lot of people like definitely me myself personally I'm, i'm huge on childhood you know Childhoods could, you know, definitely affect, we all know that your adult life. Mm-hmm. And to have, when you uproot a kid and you leave and you, you move them here, then you move them there, you start a new family with them. There's a lot of things in childhood that could break you. Yeah. Um, and that, and, and stop you from getting to that perseverance and really, really stop your faith. You yeah. know, being a, being the son of a, a minister, I can see how difficult it can be mm-hmm. to pursue this type of lifestyle this type of type of music you know yeah. and then seeing him like follow that move back to canada you know this guy is like you're in florida you went to atlanta go back to canada mm-hmm. you know those to travel that far that can make a lot of people give up but when you're really working on your passion your dreams and it's like i said it's not with just toy lanes it's with a lot of different artists out there know that you know, to get to those dreams, it's gonna be some tough roadblocks in front of you. Oh, yeah. But there comes that perseverance. You oh, know, yeah. you gotta get. You know, I won't tell you to get past what you went through. Mm-hmm. Not that easy. You know, even in our situations, not, yeah. nobody's gonna tell us to ah, get past it. Yeah. You know, it's how do you how you gonna deal with it and turn it into something for yourself? Yeah. You know. And I think a, a huge way in that is always seek the mentorship. That's why. I, Podcasts are great. That's why we're doing this podcast to help people get past or deal with, right? Get through whatever mental blocks they have, whatever spiritual, emotional blocks they have. But you find those people that you align with, you find that information that you align with, and it's out there. It's out there on a plethora right now. That's the great thing about the day and age that we live in. So it's all possible for you, but you just simply have to be willing to fight, right? You have to have the faith in yourself and have the courage to in, to engage in those fights, to engage in those obstacles, yeah. right? 
can't take life passive. You have to go head on into it and say, you know what, I'm going to find that strength that I need in order to take that next step, make it to that next day. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Like I like to call it that warrior spirit. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is at the end of the day, that warrior yeah. spirit. Right? Yeah. It always comes down to that. So with that, I mean, I think pretty much touched it. Anything else you have to add on that? DJ Jack. Yeah. Um, I mean, I said it, before, said it before, you know, back with the perseverance and the faith. Mm-hmm. You know, you, it's, I mean, yeah, it's easy and cliche for us to tell somebody, ah, you know, got to keep pushing. Mm-hmm. Oh, but really just want to stress the fact that with that push, it takes a lot, a lot of work. But guess what? What's the law and in, in, inertia? Oh, uh, like you, you know, you, you, or maybe there's the pedaling. I can't remember the exact law. So Is that when you push, push that forward, it's going to catch that momentum yeah. and keep, you So know, essentially, a, 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 an object that's, not in motion it's hard to get into motion exactly the object that's in motion is hard to stop so once you get that momentum going it's yeah. hard to stop and the momentum is like take a step do something every day i always say do something every yeah. day right some days you might be able to give two hours towards your dream some days you give a half hour yeah. right if you work even if you work 12 15 hours a day because you gotta work all this overtime guess what you get lunch breaks you get 15 20 minute breaks right yeah do something every single day right put down the netflix put down the uh uh spend a little bit less time with your boo like whatever yeah. it is do something you can do something every single day instead of listening to morning radio shows listen to podcasts to learn or listen to eat uh audio books to learn right well i'm, I'm gonna say something too right huh that Definitely, we doing those, right? Mm-hmm. But have somebody that's gonna tell you, that's gonna remind you to to do those things. That's very true. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this guy credit, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you credit where credit's due, <laughs> because I was one of those people listening to the morning shows, you know. And then he's like, Yo, no, I'm telling you, man, listen to podcasts. I think he was even texting me podcasts. It's like, <laughs> of course. I said, All right, you know, let me get back, because you forget that you used to do something that was productive, mm-hmm. and it's so easy when you listen to something that's entertaining. Mm-hmm. You know, entertaining. You do it one day. You're like, all right, let me get a little more. Yeah. Tomorrow, and then you don't know that you just went through a month, and you know the whole entertainment schedule of Breakfast <laughs> Breakfast Club. You know, if you're in New York, New Jersey, Breakfast Club, yeah. Hot 97. Yeah. You know the segments of. Well, oh, you know when the segments are gonna come on. Then you're yeah. like, wait yeah. a minute, I right, you yeah. too far deep, but you're like, I can't give it up yeah. because. I got to listen to who's the donkey of the day. <laughs> you know, Who is the donkey? Yeah, yeah right. but that. 15 minute segment that they have I could have spent 15 minutes listening to a podcast yeah. that would help me get to a point where maybe I can have a segment on a radio station you know what I mean so like you said this it's um uh, you definitely want to push make those pushes every single day but if you fall off you know be honest keep people around you that's going to shoot that information to you because yeah. you know it's how, it's how you grow exactly it's accountability that it's huge accountability your circle is always going to be huge in your growth and your achievement of the goals that you have for yourself. So, yeah. Man. Well, with that, yeah, with that, we're gonna. Of course, we appreciate you. Thank you for watching the show. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know uh, who else you might want to hear their story. Learn some lessons from their lives. Let us know just if you're enjoying this podcast, whatever it is. So we always love to hear from our supporters. And until next week. Enjoy, be blessed. We gotta get a good sign off. I know we gotta get a good sign off. You know, like one of the cools. I don't even know. (laughs) They got them. We'll listen next time. We got you guys. Yeah, we'll have a sign off. We got the intro down. We'll come up with a sign off. But thank you all for watching. Peace.